by the end of this video, you're gonna learn some really cool shit. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Ian, this is Learn How to Edit Stuff, and today we are going to be leveling up our animation skills with the help of our good old friend, AI. Now this tutorial is going to be perfect for those of you out there who are like me, who cannot draw or animate to save your lives, but who understand how to be creative in other ways. In my last video, I mentioned something called Gen 1, which is a tool that my team and I at Runway have been working really, really hard on over the last, I don't even know how long, to bring to you guys, and that's what we're gonna be leveraging today to do our animations. Gen 1 is a video to video model, which uses is a video input plus a text prompt or an image prompt to drive the video output. You can access it via the web app at runwayml.com or you can use the brand new iOS app that we just launched earlier in the week where you can use Gen 1 right from your phone and the canounce <laughs> the canounce the accounts are interconnected and everything just works really nicely. And if you don't have a Runway account yet, what what are you doing? Go to runwayml.com right now, sign up for free. Yes, I said free. And you can use everything that we're gonna use today in this tutorial for free. Did I say free? It's free. And I, of course, will be your tour guide to show you Gen 1 today. But before we jump into all that stuff, we have to go into step number one. All right, step number one is know what you're aiming for. Today, my animation goal is to make a small set of animations that I can put on screen during my YouTube videos. So whenever I ask you to subscribe or comment or smash that notification bell, I have some fun animations to go along with it. Okay, step number one is knowing what you want, which means step number two is find or film your input videos for Gen 1. For me, I'm going to film myself doing a couple different actions right here at my desk that I want to animate. Then I'm gonna take a screenshot of myself from any one of the videos and upload it to my Runway account and then open up image to image. Image to image will transform an existing image into a new one by supplying a text prompt. If you've trained your own AI model, you can select it here from this list, but play around with some different prompts until you get some images that you like. Once you find a few that you do like, try loading them into the image variation tool to get some additional variations of the image so you can have even more in the style that you like. Now upload the video clip into Gen 1, then select the image that you made as your image prompt. If you'd like, you can create some preview images to see what the style will look like on your video. Under the advanced settings tab, there's a few sliders here that you can adjust to get some different results. Since I want my animation to look as much like my video input as possible, I'll lower the structural consistency to zero so it's as close to my input video as possible and bump up the style weight to around 10. Then click generate and after a few minutes, I have my animations, but now I need to be able to get rid of the background. So I'll open up my original video clips in the green screen tool inside of Runway, click a few times to select myself as the subject, watch back to make sure it looks great, then export those videos as black and white alpha mats. If you don't have alpha mat as an option, you can upgrade your account or you can export a version with a green screen background. From there, I'll bring those files and my generations into After Effects and layer them on my timeline. I'll add the Extract plugin onto my alpha mat to remove the black, then Pick Whip from my Gen 1 layer to that track mat to remove the background from my video. If you did it the green screen way, just do the same exact thing, but key out the green. Now I have my animation on an alpha layer. Add a few more effects if you want, like a matte choke or a rough and edges to jazz it up a bit, or you can posterize time to make it look more stop motion-y. Animate the layer popping in and out, and now I can export my animation with a transparent background so I can bring it onto my timeline and put it wherever I want. You've watched all the way until now and you're not subscribed yet? Why haven't you subscribed yet? I'm over here giving you free information and this is how you repay me? Oh, you did subscribe, amazing, thank you. And you turned on notifications? <laughs> legend. And of course, for smashing that thumbs up button and watching the video up until this point, I, yes me, am going to give you, yes you, 500 free generation credits into your Runway account right now, and here's how to get it. Go to your Runway account settings, click on credits, and paste this code into the promo code box to receive your free credits. Now this offer is only going to be good for the first couple hours that this video is out, so if you're a diehard Learn How to Edit Stuff fan and you have those notifications turned on, hell yeah take your 500 credits. If you don't have notifications turned on, this is a teachable moment. Turn on notifications and then you get free stuff from Runway because your boy is taking care of you, you know what I'm saying? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is today's tutorial. I know that you learned something pretty dang cool today and all I ask in return, all I ask, what is it? You smash that thumbs up button, you drop a comment in the comment section below, you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on everything, learn how to edit stuff, we're doing AI and all the other stuff that you care about in this world that's happening here on this channel. And I will see you in the next one.